Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, it's my top three and bottom three crochet hair that I've tried in 2023. Now you know I do this video every year where I just look back at the hair I tried all throughout 2023 and I give you guys just my opinion on the worst and the best that I tried. And again, everything I say is my opinion. Some people love hair I hate. Some people hate hair I love. And that's totally fine. I think Crochet hair really is subjective. I know sometimes it feels like, no, it's either good or bad. No, it's not. Some people really do like hair that I hate. I start always with the bottom hair and I am literally have my channel pulled up in front of me and I was trying to come up with the bottoms because I didn't have a lot of truly worse bottom hair. But the first hair that pops up, technically I tried in 2022, but I uploaded the video review on it January 2nd, 2023. So in technicality, the review went up in 2023. It was a bad hair. It's that Dalva Ultima Ripple Wave hair. It was a hair that was a $12.99 per pack, but it was a not synthetic, not human hair. It was somewhere in the middle. It was, I guess, more leaning towards synthetic, but it had the property. So it said to act just like human hair. Now, that was my birthday hair of 2022. And I just, I made a wrong call with it. Most synthetic hair that I get wet, you guys know most recently I had in the Afri Naptrell Aruba Soft Deep Hair, got that hair wet. Totally think that's a water-friendly hair. Totally responded very well to water. This Ripple Wave hair was a disaster. It was plain over afterwards. And I love me some good water activities for my birthday. My birthday is November. And I ain't going up north. I ain't going nowhere but to the Caribbean or somewhere hot and where there's water for my birthday. That's it's pretty much all I do. It's always a water adventure. And I chose the wrong hair for a water adventure, unfortunately. I think once that happened, the hair was just done. It was just over. So it's not a hair that I can even think you would be able to wash and do well with. You're just going to have to fight through some tangles, fight through some padding. Just overall, not a good hair. I do believe I like the Dalva Deep Twist a lot better than this Ripple Wave. The Wave waved, messed some things up, murked some things up quite a bit. Another hair that I know people are a big fan of, I'm just not, was the Rock Trash Jamaican Bounce hair. I'm decreeing on this channel, I'm done with the Jamaican Bounces. I'm done giving it a good go. I just don't think it's a look for me. And this is where I told you, I don't have a lot of worse hair this year. This hair is okay. It's a good hair. I think it's going to work for people. But it's the hair that really told me, I just don't think I like the way I look in a Jamaican Bounce. I don't care if it's sensation of Jamaican Bounce, anything with Jamaican about stop recommending me i'm telling you guys in 2024 and going forward if you guys see a hair that has jamaican bounce and it has the properties that look like this it's not gonna be for me just say i like it but leah probably not gonna like it because it's just the look for me that's all it is it just doesn't look like me i look at myself and i see a foreign character like every time i run into people i never get compliments in jamaican bounce and it's probably because i don't carry myself in a way that like oh you look good or your hair looks good or i like your hair like that never 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 gotten a compliment in a jamaican bounce and it's just because i think it's not my style it's not my look it's too much for my face my frame something it might not be for a petite kind of small headed my body shape just don't work well with it i guess so that hair okay hair just like the next hair the next hair is another hair that i got a lot of comments I just uploaded the review as i'm posting this like two weeks ago this this review is still fresh i'm still getting fresh comments on this review and i've even got some messages on my instagram from stylists who are like one was like i use this hair all the time you installed it wrong i was like whoop whoop not me i, I installed it wrong i look you are a professional i never argue down with a professional if i installed it wrong i installed it wrong and that is the afri natural aruba soft deep hair I liked the hair. The hair itself was fine. I just kept having the most shedding I've ever had. I have never in my six and a half years, I think we're getting into seven years next year, will officially make that I've been making YouTube content, have never had hair fall slip out of my head. Never. People will comment all the time, how do you deal with hair just shedding or hair falling out or like the knot not being loose enough so it slips out? 
never had that issue before so i can't comment on it and seal this hair i lost in a week's time before i even went on my trip to jamaica i had already lost at least 15 strands at least and that was in a week's time it just was slipping it was just slipping out and then i got a lot of feedback again like i said on instagram and all of that the feedback was you should have split it more this hair needs to be installed very very tinily or tiny tinily tiny tiny strands tiny strands need to be used for this hair and i said in my responses it's funny because i think the smaller strands actually were the ones that fell out the most like the front of my hair is where i felt like i had the most weird looking front part you guys know i talked about it if you saw that review video you know what i'm talking about it looked bulky and those were tiny strands i installed it in its full kind of body and i think i split kind of indiscriminately too so i did a few strands that were together a few strands that were split should i have split more like is it supposed to be like microscopic you guys saw this the, the kind of level of strand i was dealing with even smaller than that i get it probably the smaller the strand the tighter you can tie those knots so if it's user error, it's user error. But I did not install it in a way different than I've ever installed any hair. It wasn't as if I was installing it completely, completely different. I was installing it how I be installing hair. So for it to be just completely different, maybe I'm not the right user for the install of that hair. Very water friendly in my opinion. Very water friendly. I think if it weren't for the strands just not looking right in my opinion and falling out, it would have been a top tier hair. Again, my opinion is not gold, so please trust these stylists. If this stylist, that's what she installs all the time on her clients, you know, her clients are probably having great experiences because she's doing something tiny something super tiny but it's not for me and i got a comment very recently on it that said that hair looks like beach curl and switching gears let's go to the top beach curl we gotta go with beach curl free trust beach curl i retried in this year from all of you guys who have screamed from the top of your lungs on my channel in the comments that is the goat hair that is the hair top of the line it is top three and it ain't two or three and i tried it and i love it i love it i think beach curl free trust beach curl is a top tier crochet hair i think if you have the afri natura aruba soft deep and the free trust beach curl why would you even do that you have a hair that people have already said looks very similar it does look similar if i put the two side by side very similar both i think perform well in water but one, the knots ain't slipping. So if everything being equal and then one tops out the other one, why are we even looking at the soft deep? Push that Aruba soft deep to the side. And I installed it the same way I always install crochet here. Maybe Aruba ain't DIY friendly. Maybe leave that to the professionals. But I like Beach Girl because it's DIY friendly. I can do it. Meaning you guys can do it. Meaning we all can do it and it will have the same effect. So Beach Curl has to be one of my top hair of the year. Again, nothing I've said the bottom nor the top or in any particular order, but Free Trust Beach Curl was my number one hair of all. It's, it's my number one hair. And while speaking of, I might as well just talk about the hair I have in right now. It is the Afri Naturel Soft Tex hair. It's always in every video the first line of my video it says what hair i'm wearing so anybody whoever needs to know going forward in 2024 every video i've ever made the hair that i'm wearing is in that it's not making this video because it's one week of me wearing this hair i probably have the install video up if not it's coming soon but i've had it in for one week and technically it's 2023 as i'm filming this right now i've had it in in 2023 but i haven't had it in long enough to make it anyway on this video i like it so far but we all know I've liked hair in the beginning and it, and it took a left. It took a left very quickly. So we'll see where this lands. And then next top hair of this year has to be the Wig It Human Hair Beach Curl. I really like that hair and I'm very mad at myself for putting it in when I did because I didn't give it a long enough time. I knew I was taking that hair out at two weeks, but I thought I went into it like I'm not going to like this hair. I'm doing this because the brand sent me this hair and I ain't going to like it and I don't want to disrespect them, but I also don't want to have to be obligated to wear it for, you know, a few weeks. 
I should have worn it for a few weeks. I, I, I should have worn that hair. I had a hair appointment that I had made over a month in advance. And I was like, let me put this hair in. I'm going to take it out right before my hair appointment. And this hair was beautiful. Talking about hair, I got compliments on. You're making bounces? No compliments. That human hair? All compliments. Everybody was like, okay, girl, I love this color on you. Human hair is always going to be a little bit of more maintenance you're going to have to do just because it's just like your own hair. You can't just take the scarf off all the time of your own hair. You're going to have to comb it. You're going to have to brush it. You're going to have to do some things to your own hair. Human hair is no different. And I, I say that as a caveat to let you guys know, 2024, we got some more human hair coming. Human hair I spent my own coin on. We got a few testers because I really enjoyed that human hair. And I wanted to do a sew-in. I wanted 2024 to be more of a sew-in year year for me not to get away from crochet hair but like I need a signature look like I feel like I look so different all the time that I feel like I don't have a a consistent look and I want a more consistent look but I don't want to look all the time different if that makes sense in 2024 I don't want to be a different character every single month I mean maybe every two months but not every single month so I thought it would be fun to play around with a sew-in and then I thought human hair crochet with a little bit of leave out. We'll see how that goes. So I've bought two already. One's here. One is on this way. I might buy a third. And I might. I'm not going to might. I am going to wear it. So I'm spending my own money on it. I'm going to wear it for quite some time. So we have a few more human hair coming in 2024. And last but not least, I really enjoyed the Free Trust Joyful Curl hair. That hair, I think, performed really well in water. I think there's a running theme of hair that performed well in water, typically being hair that I like. But I'm a mermaid at heart. You guys know. So I need something that's going to work well for aquatics. My best friend just messaged me um, the other day because she wants to take swim lessons in 2024. She asked what we were doing with our hair. Both me and my other friend in the group chat have taken swim lessons. But she's a straight hair natural. And I was like, oh, I ain't got nothing to tell you because I'm a crochet hair natural and a natural natural too. So my hair is rarely straight. So I'm going to put a crochet hair up under my swim cap all the time. So I don't know what advice to give you. Girl, go in with fingers and prayers. Cross your fingers, girl. Put on a very good swim cap if you can. But if you try the Free Trust Joyful Curl or the Free Trust Beats Curl, I think those are going to be bomb swim hair for you. A mention that I'll make because it didn't make bottom or top was the Soulful Curl. I just didn't get along with Free Trust Soulful Curl. I tried that hair because I thought I like the Joyful. Soulful going to be as powerful. Soul sister on the side wasn't good. Didn't like it like joyful if you're in the store joyful soulful joyful soulful go joyful go f we're, we're full of joy maybe not full of soul maybe full of joy for that moment so love the joyful curl love the beach curl love that human hair those bottoms are where they are they are where they are but again let me know your thoughts down below i am on a no buy in 2024 meaning i won't be buying any new crochet hair in 2024 because i just did a inventory of my my hair closet that's why if it's open now i can finally open it because i i had 300 probably packs of crochet hair no kidding no jokes i have enough crochet hair that i could possibly try crochet hair for the next 12 years and not have to buy anything new so we are in a no buy in 2024 but you guys leave hair down below that you want me to try it i probably already own it i own it whether it was sent to me or i bought it myself i i own that hair so let me know here that you would be interested in seeing me try in 2024 make sure that you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't we want all the love and support over here as well as we want you to subscribe so you don't miss anything we do over here make sure you're following me on instagram at leolavon89 to keep up with my shenanigans in real time TikTok at Leah Levine, which is a bit more real time and a few more shenanigans. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.